Hello, welcome back. Last time I got started on this game and found a needle that let me travel between worlds and a whole lot of stuff happens. Uh, happened. Apparently I found one ore at some point. That was in that big gauntlet where dudes were raining bombs down on me and I didn't realize what it was at the time. But I have one ore, whatever that means. Three gems, no keys at the moment. I know what locked doors look like. Uh, I'm gonna try some stuff. Ooh, oh, this is a needle nexus. Well, never mind, let's try this. Okay, so hang on. Am I... Okay, what, what's the button combination that gets me to the map? Top face button, bottom face button, and now I'm somewhere else entirely. Down at layer negative 16. Okay, well, I can return from this room. Okay, guess I'm going here. That's fine. Hi. Item storage, left and right. That's the sign. I'm trying to talk to you. You're lucky you ended up here. Outside this palace, people speak very differently. Yes. So I did some cipher analysis, and basically there are a lot of short phrases made of long, unique words, which is not what I would want for analyzing a cipher. I want long phrases made of short, non-unique words. That's how I would solve these things. Um, I have a couple of theories about what some letters could be, but nothing that's really usable yet. If you need help, you can use the book stored nearby. It'll translate for you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe this is the end of my cipher adventuring. Is the book stored nearby in this chest way up here that I can't reach? Item storage, maybe in one of these spots. Oh, hold on. Is this a place to borrow things? Press X or B when near an item to equip it to that button. Yeah, okay, so we got the borrowing mechanic back. I have boots now. What do they do for me? Uh, they let me dash. Okay, neat. Alright, so I have dashing. This presumably, if like Elephantasy 1, will be how I pick up pots. Uh, there has how I push pots. But it doesn't seem like I can pick up. Okay, so it's for pushing. Got it. That will be for... Oh. So red thingy times one. Well, now I'm red. No, this is a whole new mechanic. I ate a red herb because I had one. And now I can use bombs to jump extra high. Okay. So, what do you suppose dashing might do for me? That sounds like fun. Yeah, and I still have my... Even without the... Whatever the whistle is about, I can still call Polnareff, so I'm not sure what the whistle does for me. Okay, do I want to dash? or do, Okay, so if I'm dashing... Does that let me jump farther? Wait a second. I, I lose my... Wait. No, wait, I just don't have a... I thought I had a, a sprite for walking to the side that was separate from this one. But I'm not getting it right now. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, so one at a time, and that's listed in here. Item limit, one out of eight. Okay, got it. All right, so I found the borrowing shop. Guess I'm taking the boots. Sounds fine. I'm also looking for a book. Oh, I have different choices. Yep, one thing here. Is, does these explain themselves? No. Cannot tell what this does. It's a little poof. Whoa. What? It changes the properties of an object, apparently. Can I mess with pots out here? Yeah, okay, so magic wand. Oh, this one's neat, I like it. Can I like, witch that chest down and uh, get a hold of its contents that way? Probably not. Okay, this one's cool. I like this a lot. Oh, I'm tiny! <laughs> okay. I don't know of any places I needed to be tiny to slip into yet, but I'm sure there will be. Ah, and I can have translation. So get the text. Okay, well that's probably the one I'm taking. This presumably lets me swim? 
Let's take the book. All right, so now I can read ciphertext. So now I need to get back to place where that is spoken. Hello, Death's Throne. Who dares disturb my slumber this time? A cute little elephant named Bell. Bell, sorry. Hmm, <laughs> some sort of weird creature. But you don't seem dead. Are you from the surface? You must not yet understand your situation. This is the underworld, and as for me, I am Death, ruler of this world. Sure, that's what Death would look like. <laughs> Big happy yellow centipede. And since you're here, your soul now belongs to me forever. But you aren't dead yet, are you? Quite the pickle. So how about this? Run some errands for me, and I'll return custody of your soul. There are some other lost souls wandering the underworld. Seven to be exact. Send some of them back here, and I'll return your soul. Sound good? But wait. To get to the souls, you'll need some extra equipment. Conveniently, I have some handy items stored in this very palace. For each soul that you find, I'll allow you to carry one more item at a time. Okay. So that's how that works. I don't need gems for that. I wonder what the gems do this time, then. Think of it as risk management. The more you do for me, the more that I'll trust you with. So to sum up, send back lost souls. With each soul, I increase your item capacity, and eventually return yours. I think I still have my soul. <laughs> I'm not dead. Good? Oh, silly me. You don't have a choice. After all, I own your soul. Have fun. <laughs> No, you don't, but I'll play along. What are you, you're still here, what are you waiting for? Go bring me the souls, okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But once I step there, I am there. Okay, so uh, hang on, there's a clear use for uh, a thing that's not the book right now. So since I'm right here, let's go ahead and do magic wand. Hopefully this is enough height. I think it should be. Which this? Jump on it from... Hold on, my shadow was there for a moment, but now it's not. Okay, that's fine. Okay, right. Isometric 3D space. Oh, it uh, calms down after a while. Oh, that is not enough height. That is way higher than I thought. Oh, I can push this around. Oh, no! Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know how fragile it was. My bad. Oh well. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's way too high. I, if I used some of the cheat codes on the computer, I could get up there. Maybe that's the only way. For the moment, I'm not going to do that. But maybe later if I don't find a better way. Okay, so um, I'm taking that book and trying to get back to where I was, which should be possible. However, there's also... What's this? Foyer with a key, and something sparkly was here for a moment? Wait, something happened over there for a moment. I'm seeing, like, things just out of view. Okay, now that came up. Hmm. You want me to, like, put a pot on this or something, don't you? Something. Westgate, wait, am I in familiar environs? Nope. Okay. Oh, something I noticed in editing is there are little arrows on the bottom where I can exit the screen, making it clear where the exits actually are. So that's appreciated. So I can go this way, and I can go this way, and I can't see one in the north or the east, but south and west get them. You're a new face. Welcome to the underworld. Right now you're in Death's Palace, although you look awfully alive. But if you're in the underworld, you must be dead, right? I must be. Oh, that's a stool. Whoops, sorry, bird. We imps serve the ruler of the underworld. Death! Of course, since you're here in the underworld, you probably know that. Oh, I'm sorry for saying something so obvious. <laughs> How dare you. Birds! Uh, this means something. Doesn't it? Right, this is a... Uh, that's how I came in here just now. And it's, uh, it's a warp point for my, my friend the bird. I'm in charge of the doves here. See that symbol on the floor? Birds will return to places marked with that symbol. If you knew a big bird, it might even be able to carry you between them. Did I hear this text before? Yes, I did. Okay, I need a key to go in there. That's what a locked door looks like. Okay, so I have another... Can I go down here? Kinda. Can't 
get much out of that, though. All right, so I can leave the palace to the south. Sorry, the west. One of those downward directions. All right, let's try that. Let me see if I can get back to where ciphertext is spoken. Looks like I might not end up solving that <laughs> cipher on my own. <laughs> uh. All right, so I now have a blue herb in my bag that's not with me, I guess. Herb sound in this world, like that blue one growing over there, have many different effects when you eat them. For instance, blue herbs always make me feel jumpy. Put a spring in my step, you know? But you'll only be able to collect and use them with an herb bag like the one in the palace. Okay, I see. Now I understand the system. These things can be found all over the underworld. I'm not really sure what they are or who put them there. Kind of look like faces though, huh? Mm -hmm. I can get on top of this wall here. And that feels like it's going to be important for something. East gate. Was I here before? Indeterminate. Uh, okay. I'm going to stay on this wall for now, so I want to go back to East Gate to see if... see what the imp has to say. Rocky Road, huh. South Gate, not much of a... well, there's a gate there, but then... oh, hey! Here we go. So that's why I was up here. Alright, another imp... um, what was it called? Kion High. And then this is clearly a way to do that, and then I can't really tell where that is in space. I think it's here. Well, okay, guess we're going around and doing that again. That's fine. Let me talk to you. I dropped my key up on top of the wall. If you can get up to it, you can have it. I'm so disgusted with myself that I don't want it anymore. <laughs> All right, well, I collected your, your belonging. I'll use it to unlock a door in the palace. This way leads to the old palace ruins. Yeah, the boss used to live up there, but some monster destroyed the place. So we ended up building a new palace here. Right, so I did see this. Then subsequently I went up this way, and then I was just like completely out of my depth and... Oh! Palace of Death. Outsiders beware. Okay, so the sign is worn, but the book lets me translate what can be translated. Okay. Ooh. Forgotten hedges. Allegedly I was here once. I don't remember this really. Whoa, watch out. These chasms are really deep. Okay. Uh, I'm getting distracted. Well, it's just because, like, there's stuff to see in every direction always. So I want to stick with a relatively small number of tasks. I finished my task of walk along the wall until you get a reward. But there was more to that in that there was an opening in the wall that I would like to try and get to. I might not have the jump power for that though. Might need to eat a blue herb or something. Or maybe I just didn't understand where it was in space. But I'm going to try that again. It's a bit of a walk to get back there. The boots might help, but I don't have those right now. And I got a key, and there was a door I wanted to unlock inside the palace. So I'm going to get to that. Okay, so that tree in space, I can see how it lines up with my current tile. And comparing that to the wall, yeah, I mean, like, my... I just go here and steer north and jump, right? Wrong. There's something more to it. I think I needed to be farther... Sorry, I said north. That was northeast. This... this is north, the direction I'm traveling now. Well, you know what? I'm at the west gate. I'm going to use this key on... That door was here, I think? Yes. Alright, and here's some ore in the lockbox. I need a wand to get there, don't I? Yes, okay. So wand will definitely get me in there, and I'm in the place where I would get that. Alright, you. Oops. Oops. So yeah, don't know what ore is for yet, but it's there and I want it. Oops, not you. You. Okay. 
Oh, hold on. Up there at that window, I can clearly see there are bars on it. I think the other one looked like that, and I just... Well, I can see clearly to the north that there are bars in that window. Then comparing that to the design in the east, I can see there are also bars there. But I interpreted those as something else, so I think I can't actually go into that hole I was trying to get into. Okay, I'm booking it up again. And if I leave through the south gate, I can get a look at the hole I was trying to get into. Yes, bars are there. And also, that would just take me to... this room, so that's of no interest. Okay. It was good to try, though. So I'm not clear if I can, like, actually move pots around. If I could... Oh, hold on, um... Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna carry myself with my bird over here. Then, do that again. And end up at... Oh. So that's why I need the whistle, because without it I can't teleport between those points, huh? Okay, so I'd have to actually walk if I want to take the dictionary over there. Okay, I can do that. Hi, Death. I haven't found any souls for you yet. Okay, where's the exit? Here's one. So I want to also look around that forked tree and see what it could help me platform to. Because clearly I can get there if I'm on the wall. Nothing of interest there. Hi, let's speak. Oh, it's just... I get the consonants and I have to fill in the vowels myself, I guess is the how it is. Sometimes it is nice to just take some time to relax, don't you agree? Sure. I very much enjoy this spot. You may relax here with me if you would like. Okay? Do do do, I guess, probably. What if I do that? Let's find out. Because if I hold still for a bit, Bell does go to sleep, and maybe that has some significance. Am I standing too close to you to sleep? I think I might be standing too close to you to sleep. If I stand a little farther away, let's see if this works. Because maybe like if a prompt is up, I can't sleep. Or maybe it's longer than I think it is to wait for that. Or maybe just like on this screen, I can't sleep. Now oh, here we go. So that's how long that took. And aren't there two levels of sleep? Or is it just the one? It might just be the one. Hmm. Okay, well, um... Let me try one more time. Well, no. No. I think it's just... I can do it if I want. But it's not, like, something I need to do. Forked path. Weedy wall. Okay, forked tree. Yeah, you don't... Oh, I could maybe... Well, I could jump from the wall to this pillar. But it doesn't really matter. This is... Whoa. Looks like something. It's probably levitatable. Okay, anyway. Hi. Are you a friend? Oh. Nope. Sharpened flint. Okay. Well, getting up here doesn't do anything for me. That's fine. Alright, let's poke around. I am here. I have been before. Okay, was there any text to read here? I don't think there was. There was just, oops, or to collect, and I got it already. And then when I die, I go here. Okay, that's fine. Right, and if I were to witch one of those pots, I could get up to that spot where I have not been. Okay, noted. 
And if I had an herb thingy... You need to hop a little better than that, then I can get up there. <laughs> Alright, uh, if I had an herb thingy, there are things I could do. There's an herb thingy, but... oops. Okay, anyway, um... I've never been here. Brittle branches. Uh, looks like I can get up to that. I can. Do I want to? Maybe. I don't know that it does anything for me, though. So I can tell when something's being translated because it doesn't have vowels. That's fine. Northwest to Zur Highlands. East to Palace of Death. Okay, northwest. Northwest is this direction. Okay, cool. So I've been up that cliff, but I, I came the other way and I can't return that way. That's fine. Right, now without being able to borrow more items, therefore I can't translate more text unless there's another way around and I don't currently know one. Because I need the warp whistle to be able to ch change waypoints here. And there's some ore that I would need to... So how good is my jump exactly? Pretty close to good enough for that. With the boots I could probably get that. Since I'm very close to where those are borrowed, let's give that a try. There are no east entrances to this palace. In fact, it's all west and maybe south? I think they might all be west. Alright, sure. Or maybe it's just that one door. Okay, so trying to borrow boots to see if that can get me that one piece of ore. And I don't think I'm gonna... <laughs> oh! Hi. Not again! Oh, wait a second, I see something. Something's happening. Alright. You're giving me a hint. Thank you. <laughs> Got some ore. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, in the underworld, I have to press a button to pick things up. Alright, so, anyway. Um, I was doing something with these boots. I was getting some ore in another spot. Not again! I'm not sure which item helps me do that, because like, pot manipulation, I didn't find a way to really do it. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be a longer jump than I had before. So if I just go kinda... <laughs> Everybody comments and I crash into a wall. Alright, so I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna do this. There we go. Whoops, ooh. But then I need to jump high, so that's only half of the, uh half of the story. Okay. Well, um, do I want the boots or do I want the wand? Those are the two that interest me the most right now. I guess I'll take the boots for now. Then I can needle my way back to the overworld. Alright. Oops. <laughs> Although the herb bag is pretty interesting too, honestly, let's at least give it a try while I'm here trying things. Bonk. Well, now hang on, so that's a way I can move objects around a little bit. That key though is floating, so therefore an earthquake doesn't move it. <laughs> Big hefty elephant can make quite a... Quite a ruckus crashing into things, though. Okay, now hang on. While I'm thinking about this... Okay, this is... Wait a second. Oh, there we go. I pick up from the top, of course. That's how it was in Unflip Side Elephantasy, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. However, once again, I need two items here. And that doesn't stay. Okay, got it. Now, can I stack? Yes. That's good to know. Alright. Um, what did I decide I ultimately wanted? Everything. <laughs> what do I think I want now? I like the wand! The wand is cool. Let's do some stuff with that. Hold on, but... Uh, first time herbing. 
And actually, hmm, maybe this is what I want. Okay, I want to get one of those blue herbs. Because, yeah, like, this will give me a variety of powers depending on which herb is available. Although, the icon there is red. Can I collect blue with this? Maybe. Can I switch? Oops, sorry, bird. Didn't mean to. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so blue. Oops. Uh, I want to... There we go. Chomp. There we go. Now I'm all jumpy. Okay. For a very short amount of time. Alright, got it. That seems very beneficial. And when I was uprooting things and just kind of throwing them away... Let's see, with this, maybe I could get up here. Yes, easy. Stronghold. Hi. Okay, so I need the dictionary here, but I can't have both of these things at the same time, it seems like. Okay, and here I would want to be able to move a pot around. You would steal my things. Very rude. Right, so here I have all the golds I can carry, I guess. Which is two. Okay. So then... No, this button. Oh, it's a time stop! That's interesting. Wait, why did that uproot? I, I'm not sure, because I have the capacity. Hey, this is something I could slip under if I were tiny, isn't it? Turnip patch. Right here. Oh, hey, I have coordinates. 1, 10, negative 16. Turnip patch at 1, 10, negative 16. There's a few spots that it looks like I could get under if I were tiny, maybe. Well, that I was able to put in my bag. The, that one I wasn't, but it didn't up... Things are weird. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, I want to fill in the map spaces I haven't seen here. Well, hello, what are you? Howdy, I'm Goldman and I live for speed. Now you look pretty fast, a regular speed demon. Maybe you'd like to try challenging my speed record for this area? Sure, I'll do that without any boots. Awesome. All you need to do is follow that path southwest in a loop back here. I'll time you! Ready, go. Okay, southwest. Southwest is this direction. Loop path? What, what are you talking about? Wait, I'm... Hold on, this is very confusing. Wait, hold on. Loop path, southwest. T tell me this again. Oops. Southwest in a loop. Or are you saying this is southwest? Oh, I may have misinterpreted what directions are. So, like, this might actually be north. South, west, east, northwest. Like, I thought this was north. But I think I based that on shaky foundations. Ready, go. Okay, now the time is going. Okay, and I have an arrow telling me where to go. Okay. How on the path do I need to be? Probably not very. And stop. Spectacular. Let's see how you did. Didn't beat my time. I do want to try again. Whoa! That looked like it might have been doable without boots. Because, like, if I can ride the screen edges like this... Yeah. 3.10 seconds to spare. I managed to beat your best time! I don't have a trophy or anything, but you can have this! A gem! Thank you! Alright, find a new place to race. Maybe I will run into you again. Yeah, you're gone. Okay. I wonder if time stop would have, uh, would have stopped the timer. Probably. Okay, let's fill in that one last space. And then be satisfied, I guess. Okay, so here is a pot stacking spot. Okay, yeah, so every item is interesting in every area. I haven't tried- there are herbs I haven't tried. Let's sample a green herb. What might that do? Oh! It duplicates-
So there aren't actually three ore up there, are there? I will... surely not. Okay, hmm. Well, anyway, got an idea of how some of the systems work. And I know how to return to the overworld. I have the needle to do it here. Okay, so um, let's actually take an item that I want to take elsewhere. I'm going to put away the herb bag and... Okay, I'm thinking like boots, wand, or... Um, something else. <laughs> boots, wand, or... ring. I mean, they all do stuff. Let's go with the wand. The wand is fun. I like it. Alright, uh, I'm just going to return to the overworld somehow, like this. And I'm not sure how saving works exactly here. Hey, the flower pot is back. <laughs> My crime is undone. Any comments for me, whatever your name was? Just about to have a little nap. Sometimes it's nice to take a break. Don't you agree, Belle? I'm about to take one. That's why I take small naps from time to time. Very convenient, I think. Make sure you get some rest if you ever find yourself with a free moment. You'll wake up refreshed and might even have some nice dreams. All right, cool. Uh, I'll let Belle take a nap here and catch up with her again in two days. I'll see you then.